I'm going to try this one more time because it didn't seem to be very crisp and I upped the resolution so it should look better. I'm going to just talk a little bit about my signal multiplexer solution, which is a, uh, 161 cycles. I like this solution a lot because I managed to make it work with a four cycle per input loop, but what happens for each of the inputs is quite different. So the node below in S is my favorite node in any solution I've ever made because it has a useful JRO any as well as a useful NOP. But first let's look at the node right below that one. It's going to move the value from the right and then add the value from the left. So that seems to be setting up for the zero case where it's supposed to write the sum of the two inputs. But what happens, and I'll, I'll actually go over and step through it one at a time. In S, when it receives a one, so I'll start with a minus one. When NS receives a minus one, JRO any is the third instruction that it reads, and then it gets back to the top. When it receives a plus one, JRO any is the fourth instruction it reads, and it gets back to the top. And when it receives a zero, JRO any is skipped entirely, and it gets back up to the top. So every path through that node takes four cycles, but when JRO any is read is different for, for one and minus one and zero. So now the JRO jumps based on whichever side it's reading from. The right is available on cycle three. The left is available on cycle four. The left is always going to have a negative number because that's how the inputs are stored. But actually, add, add a minus three to it, so it's always a negative number that's sufficient to jump it back up to the top. Meanwhile, the right is always going to have a number at least three, but that's only to balance out the change that I made on the left. Really, the positive three. Anything greater than one would JRO any to the NOP. So when it's going to add the two numbers together, it adds whichever one in S's node didn't eat to either a 3 or a minus 3. So the node which is responsible for moving the negative number to the right will only move the negative number to the right if that's the higher priority option to move. Otherwise, it'll move a negative 3 to the right from below it. Same priority things happen on the node that's to the right of the uh, addition node. It'll move a 3 to the left unless there's a higher priority number coming from above. So let's get to one of those magical cycles where JRO any fires. Right now, the 8 is going to be passed to NS's node or to the node in the middle on the far right. The node on the far right doesn't get first say, the NS node gets first say, so it consumes that 8, leaving the node on the far right to pass a 3 instead. So the 3 is passed along, and that is the basis for this addition, and then the node then adds the negative 29 from the left because it wasn't consumed by the uh, NS node. Basically, it's using the priority of any to pass on whichever is needed to complete that addition and always makes a four cycle loop. The leaderboard has a 148 cycle solution, which means that at least in some cases it must get around in a three cycle loop. I don't see how to do that, but I'm very proud of this solution.